get some hip movement there, can't you? About to. So by, by placing the ball in between the leg, and you're actually going to be working on the ball. Now you want to make sure someone's secure. Again, this is maybe not something you do necessarily on a first date, but if they're athletic or more organized, then that's fine. But I'm working on the way the pelvis is relating into the, the knee and the leg. But what I can do is, if you notice, the ball allows the leg to be completely still in a sense. So all the movement goes directed at the pelvis into the lower back. So at first I'm just doing these light little sort of dipping movements. I'm just bringing the knee forward. And now the same thing, I can just go a little bit back. Now, if you notice, my hand's on the ball. I still am secure where the knee is. And I'm just looking for that little slide forward. It's my favorite lesson as far as just on myself of elongating the knee and elongating the hands. And I'll do all the work. Now, just let the pelvis go. And very easy at this point to just come in and just take a ride with the pelvis. And this starts becoming a really nice movement. The hip joint, the sacrum, all of this is just so opens up. So now at this point, now I can start making the move more complex where I'm bringing the knee forward and the hip forward. Same thing, I can go backwards and forward. And also at this point, I can change it out. And now you can see how I'm getting extension on the lower back. I'm literally almost pulling the ankle and the leg can move out. Just go back to the original move. What's really nice about the balls is that too, as a practitioner, get so much more life out of me. When you're trying to do this on a petite person, that's fine. And then the move would look very similar. I'm gonna take the ball out for a second just to show, sorry. So if I were to just be doing the move manually, you know, obviously you'd want to adjust the table height, but in this case I haven't. So I come under here and, and I can manipulate this way, or I can manip manipulate this way. But it's a different movement and it requires a lot more. So if I'm going down or this or coming up and around, I mean, they're all fine moves. But to bring the ball underneath of it, And you can deflate the ball as well a little bit. I actually would like to have smaller balls if anybody can influence that because I would love to use it in the mid back. But and I can even bring someone all the way down almost back to lying through this and then back up and more on the side. So now in this position, still with the ball in between the leg, you really, again, have access to the, the whole pelvic region, but the ball can take a lot of the energy and change it to make it more fluid. So you can get in here. You still can work with the sit bone. One of the nicest moves that I like is the organization, too, between the foot and the pelvis, obviously with the leg involved. But this also is, is very... It allows the ease of the leg to have the freedom to do this kind of uh, manipulation. I 
and you really can see how the pelvis is um, twisting itself and getting a freedom in it that for some people just haven't seen just in years. You literally can roll now through the knee and work on the extension. So I'm not pushing out, I'm, I'm rolling my hand. And the power that gets back into the tailbone area, bringing a kick back to someone is quite nice. So now in this position again too, you can work more on the side. I can even bring the ball back. Now normally I can be working on someone's back step. One of the things that happens when someone ages, obviously, or they've had trauma as a system, is they cannot walk backwards. Most of us don't even even test someone to do that. So here, let me just bring this. So the ball is just a nice way too. Normally, it would have a, a slip pad here, but the ball is a nice way too. Once the pelvis is available, of bringing the foot back in this position. And you still can add a lot of variation to how the foot's going to be or come up into here, leaving the ball for a second. And you really, the freedom that you get in a pelvis is just, I think it's just marvelous. If I put the leg down and take the egg out, the information's still there, but it's not as nice. And there's a lot of restriction in through the calf. And see, to bring the foot back into standing, it's just, it's just a more complicated move where it's a bit freer off the ball. For that, you would really need a sticky pad. Or here, the ball's using it being a sticky pad. So even with keeping the ball in place now, I can go back and bring in more conversation with the back.